Anil Magnani is here with us. How important is this, uh, Mr. Magnani? 85-55 broken. The last time I spoke to you, I remember you said that as long as the 85-50 mark broadly, 85-50, 85-60 mark stays intact, there's no reason to believe that the uptrend has been reversed. But uh, if we close below that, would uh, the uptrend technically be reversed? Uh, Indo-Pakistan surgical strike day. The market recovered and in fact went back and went above that day's high of 8800. So obviously today's fall is something totally different. It has, it has got nothing to do with the surgical strike. It is a genuine proper sell-off globally including India. I think 8520, which is the 20-week uh, average, becomes very, very key. And any break, I mean, already I think your trend is down, but any break of 8520, then the uh, the cuts can be much deeper because the next level will be about 8360-odd, which is the 10-month uh, moving average. So, uh, in terms of the shorts in the market, are there a lot of shorts in the market right now? I would think now they're starting to build up, at least today, because uh, whoever would have built it up on the uh, on the expiry day would have got cut because the market went back to 8,800. Mm -hmm. And I think not many positions would have been taken last week and on Monday because of the holiday. Mm -hmm. But I think today, uh, the way the sell-off is, mm -hmm. I think you would you would see fresh uh, shots building building up into the system. You know, in the morning when it opened around that 8,630 level, which... Uh, uh, we will or 8650 level and then drop 8653 i think was about the 23.6% uh, um, uh, retracement level of the recent fall that we worked out but after that it's gone down it, it bounced back a little and then it kept one, going one down to break of 0.5 or 0.618 like you mentioned 8650 yeah. once yeah. you break that retracement then the next target is your previous low which was 8555 so yeah. No surprise that once it took that out in the morning, it was going to come here. But my biggest issue is now you can't blame it on the surgical strikes. Now this is a different issue, completely market-related, not uh, politically related. Mm -hmm. This is uh, more of even what's happening with the rest of the globe today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your Asia is down, Europe is down, your uh, Dow futures are down. And in addition, your uh, oil, uh, sorry, not oil, your uh, dollar is, has been very strong since we've been shut over the last two, three days. Mm. So I think the euro breaking below 1.11, which it hasn't done in a couple of months, was very crucial. Mm. Uh, I think even the way the pound is in a free fall is another issue. Mm. The rupee still looks okay, but even today we are also seeing about 35, 37 pesa uh, dip. Mm. But I think it's, it's uh, even the dollar strengthening mm. is, is becoming an issue for uh, markets. I think... A lot of people are seeing the Chinese data again. Now, without getting too fundamental, are mm -hmm. worried that the uh, China may be uh, pushed to further weaken their own currency, which will again cause another problem. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you look at look back at markets when they correct, do they take a pause in earnings season? Does that happen? No, I, I generally don't think so because, like I said, when you were going up, many bad results were being uh, uh, not. Uh, mm -hmm affecting their stock prices, they were still rallying even post the numbers. And so we've had two earning seasons in the way up, which was April and again in, uh, in uh, no, April and uh, again in July. Mm. So in those two seasons, the market just continued to rally during the earning season. So I don't think earning season should be too much because the numbers, I'm, I'm saying most people are buying for three, four quarters down the road. I don't think the numbers have warranted a 29 or 30 percent rally from 6800. So, mm. I think earnings season won't make too much of a difference. If your trend is down, it will continue to go down. If the trend, uh, the down uh, fall is arrested, mm. and you start to move up, so be it. But I, I don't think numbers will play too much. I mean, look at IIP. IIP has been a dead for two years, mm. but still the market doesn't look at it at all. Mm. So, mm. I don't think numbers will make too much of a difference. Okay, but 8550. If one looks at the range and uh, a channel, if uh, one looks at it from April onwards. You draw it anywhere below 8560, then it starts weakening. We've also had a bit of a consolidation within a small 150, 200 point range for almost one and a half odd months. Now, is that now if we fall, does that become a barrier later on for any recovery? I, I would say 8800 was your major barrier twice. It's, it's fallen from that level. Mm. But I'm more, 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 more uh, interested in the point that. We recovered all the surgical strike uh, day uh, lows, I mean, uh, fall. 
And if we break that, it just basically tells you that that has got nothing to do with the market. And right. that's what's more important. So now nobody can look back and say, oh, because of what's happening across border, we are falling. Now mm-hmm. it's completely our own own markets weakening and the global scenario. So I think that's more important to take from the last two weeks. And again, I, I re-emphasize 85-20 breaking will be more crucial than 85-50. 85-20 breaking more crucial. Thanks a lot for joining us.